Welcome to Globes in Business School. It's a rare privilege and honor for all of us in Globes in to have you all in the midst of all what we are facing last two years. Globes in Business School, however, had continued undaunted to deliver the best in quality education which we strive for day in and day out. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a phenomena which I've been living with for 20 years. When I was told by Sabusachi and his team that this year the sixth vision seminar is going to be on the subject of ESG to SDG, I was smiling inside myself. Because ladies and gentlemen, I must confess that I am not an educationist. I'm an entrepreneur and a behavioral scientist. When I set out to start this process of building the youngsters for tomorrow's world, element of management and technology was the number one thing in my mind. And then all these elements which today and tomorrow or yesterday you would have deliberated with in different pieces and formats came into Globes in Business School slowly because I was very much aware that you can't impose anything onto a youngster for that matter for anyone. What we are hearing people talk about this seminar so far, and my knowledge is limited, so permit me, is the output from ESG and SDG. I have worked on the input. I have never so much worked on the output. So permit me to talk about the input. The input are the youngsters. If you don't inculcate this kind of a subject into the education edifice, there is no point having lectures and seminars on such a diverse and difficult subject is my belief. It's a personal belief, please don't take a miss. But that is why when we set about to do things one after the other, we were trying to inculcate this into a 21 year old's mind so that he's better equipped. Do we really believe that a PGDM or an MBM curriculum makes the youngster ready for ESG to SDG conversion? I'm sorry, I disagree. I don't think there would be. They will still go to those lecture sessions. They will still attend seminars, understand 10% of it or maybe 20% of it. And the process becomes very, very slow and long. Just imagine if this whole exercise which we are trying to do in this seminar is inculcated in the lives of that youngster as he goes through his MBA program and not inculcate it as a curriculum. Because if you inculcate these things as a curriculum, again, regimentation will come in. And if regimentation comes in, learning goes down. So we have to be extremely scientifically conscious that when we inculcate these kind of things into a youngster, he has to follow these three things which you're talking, which is environmental, social and then the governance comes in if this can be done environmentally and socially to the youngster then sustainable development becomes much easier to, for him to absorb as he goes into the industry so what we have strived to do in globes in business school without telling the students without telling the faculties just creating an environment which permits for the faculties and the students, this aspect to blossom. And that is what I had called beyond education. With your permission, I will try to give a schematic expression of this beyond education today to you, so that you get an understanding and of what I, I have, we have tried to build over these 20 years. At the core of this schematic expression, is your the in knowledge base what you call we all call as pgtm or mba or whatever now this is necessary not only for enhancement of knowledge 
it is also necessary that it this is a structured system AICT accredited standardized curriculum standardized requirement of teachers standardized requirement of fact students this is required for the society to do anything which you want to inculcate into a mass so this is absolutely mandatory for me this is the base there is nothing beyond a base so the students come in pay fees and study pgdm 9 out of 10 or 8 out of 10 or 7 out of 10 institutes students get a job here and go back and we are actually unfortunately leaving the students on their own peril to think how they will look at the world order to be equitable they will have to go to seminars workshop listen to all this dignified people here and then they will automatically try and learn what we have done is if you see the the schematic expression in the around the core of the knowledge base we have inculcated into these young adults five or six things within that circle one is we call it serendipity and we are very conscious in gbs that we call it as a project not a fest because fest dilutes a youngster's mind project brings it together these are very small things but very 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 important things because if the nomenclature we use to a youngster actually determines the way he will look at it so we call it a project and you know what happens for two days the entire second year students they conduct this two day exercise everything they do there is no faculty there is no nobody involved right from the lights man to makeup man to getting the even rehearsing we gave them off for about 3 months to do rehearsals so this whole place environmentally is accepting the development of the youngster and is facilitating himself to go out i remember there been umpteen stories one one guy came out long time back and told me sir i have never sung a song even in front of my parents how can i sing a song in front of 1000 parents so i told him you will sing because you won't be able to see them it's all dark you just stand on the stage and sing ladies and gentlemen that guy got a job in the first interview because the confidence which he inculcated by that expression gave him an opportunity to take things out of his own system and deliberate the environmental element helped him for what he later went on to govern and that thereby the sustenance able element of those ecosystem came into play we have kylf which a lot of people are maybe aware of kylf is actually kalani kalani is our ngo for social work and the volunteering part is done by kylf to the gbs students we look after the old age homes we look after the specially abled children and now we have added a very interesting area which is chd which is congenital heart disorders these three areas the students volunteer and participate and work with these people and make them environmentally richer they learn and they will be ready ladies and gentlemen let me assure you when they get get into an office and work they'll be much better off we saw we another guy who's just done a pgdm and entered that place these boys and girls are spending their four days of durga puja all bengalis understand what is durga puja not with their boyfriends and girlfriends but with this 85 year old and 90 year old old age home people singing songs to them buying dhotis and sarees for them giving food to them and making them at least those three four days a better days in their lives this is our work at as kalani we do then there is this alumni exchange the same alumni which has gone through these kind of processes they keep on coming back into the system and delivering similar environment as they go back and deliver in their work culture embryon is the entrepreneurial spirit with which they start working while at school and if they are convinced about their failures and the reason for them they continue that work after they pass out 
GMC is a people who want to be academic. They do blobs and management conferences. They write papers. They present papers in a double bleed magazine. It gets approved and some of them go on to become good, decent faculties and management sites. These are all inculcated while they do PGDM. And once they get out, they are PGDM pluses. We have annual lecture series uh, given by, for the likes of uh, Mr. Narayan Murthy. Uh, those, are, those are wisdom coming into the system from us. We have learned an intern session where that session is taken by me, my 40 years uh, experience in the market and about 30 odd years as an entrepreneur. I communicate them my experiences and case stories and I, they try to relate uh, how they will behave in those practical environments because they are not really seen till then any practical environment. I'll give you a quick example. Like there, one of the sessions in this learn and intern many years back, I had told them just imagine this classroom and there's so many boys and girls sitting here. Let's imagine suddenly the lights go off and it's pitch dark. Different youngsters will respond differently in such a situation. One boy will light the lighter and show it to the next person sitting next. One boy try, will try to escape. One boy will try to do different things because you're not visible. And what you do in such certain situations is where you develop yourself and know yourself and work to go further in your life. These elements, when inculcated with the economics, with your all management subjects, and taken students out for uh, in the world of business, has so far augured very well. I've been very, very blessed. I've been very, very fortunate. I get WhatsApp messages from at two o'clock in the night from students telling me how well they have done at their work, how they have become the manager of the year, and they have done this, that, then. And when I notice them, and when I ask them, majority of the reason why they have become that comes from these beyond education elements, which they are practicing. And because everything else is the same, but it is these elements which has made a difference, difference to them. When you look at environmental, social, and governance, factor if you if we have to sustain the developmental goals of the society at large with it will come from the youngsters who will be a chunk of the society which will do the governance then i think we have to start early we have to start at the institute level giving them that freedom giving them that exposure and just facilitating them by the creation of the environment once we do that seminars like this workshops like this will have so much more meaning to to the people at large that they will get out of this seminar and from tomorrow morning start thinking that how can we practice this once again thank you very much for enlightening the business, groups in business school and coming to our campus and your brand i look forward to an opportunity where i would be able to talk to all of you and share my some of my experiences it's been a fascinating journey which we have all gone through in globes in business school and we have learned more from the youngsters than what we have taught them thank you ladies and gentlemen have a wonderful time